so what we, what, every day what we should do is this. We should make sure we're clean. Our face is clean. Our mouth is clean. Our breath. And then we go and clean our altars. We should have a Buddha representation, a Dharma and a Sangha on, I'm sorry, body, speech, and mind, Buddha, Dharma, Sangha, same thing, on our altar. We can have multiple multiple representation, that's fine, but we should have a Buddha, Dharma, Sangha representation on our altars and it's clean and put well and done beautifully. And to understand the meaning of the Buddha, Dharma, Sangha or the body, speech, and mind of the Buddha. So we should have the body, speech, and mind, which is equivalent to Buddha, Dharma, Sangha. The Buddha represents to purify all the negative karma we've done with our body. Killing or indirect killing. One of the worst things we can do with our body is killing. The killing of humans, animals, spirits, killing. Or creating the causes for them to be killed. Whatever pain you have given the other person in killing them, you will receive that pain back. It's just a matter of time. Otherwise, how can karma be selected? Oh, you do that, it doesn't come back. You do this, it comes back. I'm not saying this to threaten you, I'm telling you the truth. Whatever pain you give to another being, human, animal, spirit, whatever pain, which is inflict pain on their body, cut them, kill them, draw blood from them, eat their flesh, anything you do to harm them in any way, every single pain that every single human or animal or spirit you have inflicted pain. When I say spirit, because there are people who could harm spirits or imprison them and make them do bad things. There are people. Every single pain you give to that being, it will come back to you. And it's just a matter of time. So every time, and if you're profiting by it, if you're profiting by it, you're living off of that, and you're living off of that type of harm. For example, if you're a murderer or a killer, or you're a soldier or whatever, and you're receiving a salary for being a soldier, that is very dangerous. Because why? Then there's something that seals the karma. You rejoice. I got my salary. Ah, I can buy a car now. Ah, I can buy a house for my wife. Oh, I can buy a house uh, for my kids. Oh, I, I can have clothes now. Oh, I can buy luxury things. I can go on trips. So with that money that comes from killing, you can enjoy yourself and, and do all kinds of things enjoy. And that's even worse. Why? When we seal the karma, it's even more powerful and painful. There's a difference when we do something and regret and we do something and we're happy. When we do something and we regret, the karma is lessened. When we do something, we're happy or we rejoice in it, the karma is sealed. Meaning it will definitely come out. Just a matter of time. Otherwise, the Buddha's wrong. Otherwise, where does all the pain and the ills and the problems? Look at the people in different countries with leprosy, starving, living in dirty conditions, very poor. No matter how hard they work, they suffer. Cancer, diseases, all these problems when we look at these countries, where do you think the karma comes from? I'm not saying this to say they deserve it or they, they, they should have that. I'm just saying it comes from a source. So why do people, some people re receive that? Some, we can be very strong and vital and, and handsome right now, but easily within a breath we can die and take rebirth as a leprosy, a child of a leprosy. I'm from India. I lived in India and served my teacher in South India. I've traveled to North India, to Ladakh. I've traveled to many states in India. I've traveled to uh, the worst state, which is Bihar state, one of the poorest states. And the amount of poverty and pain and suffering and incredible hopelessness and destitute, destitute feeling that people have to experience is beyond your comprehension. And even if I was a fully fledged bodhisattva, I could do nothing for them because their karma has opened. What makes us think we won't become one of them? What what is the difference between that person and us? The only difference is the opening of which karma at the time of death. That's the only difference. So therefore, it's better to be poor and to have right livelihood than to be rich and have negative livelihood. 
because to have negative livelihood and to be wealthy is a result of negative karma. Example, I've heard of people in LA who kill people for living. And they can make a lot of money. A hundred, a hundred, two hundred thousand per person. Depends on the person they kill. And they make quite a lot. Because a normal person makes 40, 35 to 40,000 a year working, you know, six days a week, eight hours a day, eight to 10 hours. And they make 40 to 50, 35 to 40,000 a year. These people make a hundred thousand in a day. And they were happy. You know, they have rings, they have gold, they have women, they have cars, they go on trips, and they're very happy. And they love their job. And that is a result of negative karma. Even the job is a result of negative karma. So therefore, what's very important is this, is that now we have a chance to know the truth. And this is the truth. To harm begets harm. To harm begets harm. To harm mentally another person, another being. Lying to them, deceiving them, hurting them, beating them. Cheating them, that's very bad. Don't even need to mention killing them. Stealing them, very bad. So therefore, now that now when we listen and practice Dharma, we need to understand the truth. And you know what? Sometimes the truth makes us uncomfortable and scared and itchy and, and all that. That is good. Why is that good? It means we have a conscience of it. If we don't have a conscience, whatever the th Dharma teacher is talking about, we just yawn and you know wait for a drink. If we do feel uncomfortable, there's a conscience that if we feel nothing and we don't feel anything, or we think that this is for somebody else, then we very degenerate to a point of almost no return. If we think the teaching is for someone else, then we degenerate. 